Hello fellow subscribers, what's up? It's me, Webs from Slider here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about something which I already touched in my last video. Now please tell me you guys saw the last video because at the end I was talking about an async task where you wanna update a determinate progress bar. However, when you rotate the activity, because when you rotate the screen, what happens is that the progress bar disappears. In other words, the user has no idea what happened, whether the file was downloaded or not. What you rather want is the progress bar to continue getting updated whether or not the user has rotated the screen. So how do we do that? And we also saw the reason for that. One of the prime reasons was the async task gets an instance of the activity once with it and it starts working on that instance. When the activity is destroyed and recreated, however, what happens is that the activity is now a new instance. The async task is not aware that the activity object has changed and it continues to update the old one which is not the case right so how do we tackle this problem now there are two ways to tackle this problem the first one is the dumbest approach on the whole world and I'm gonna show you the first one in this video very simple don't let the user rotate man why the hell do you want to rotate the activity in 10 seconds what are you gonna see so let's try to block the activity now of course the user is gonna get extremely pissed off at you guys for doing this and he's gonna uninstall the app straight away but then this is the simplest existing approach and I just wanted to talk about what we can do in this. So I hope you guys have seen the code about what we have done in the previous video. If not, please go back and check the previous videos on async task and its examples to make sure that you guys understand everything what I'm talking about here. So how do we block the activity from being rotated? Very simple. Inside the on pre-execute, what we are going to do is get the current orientation of our activity and that can be done by saying something like this you can say if what we're gonna need is an instance of context or in other words what we have is our main activity because activity is actually a subclass of context so we can do with this as well so we go down here inside our on pre-execute and we say main activity dot this the reason we do that is because we are currently inside the inner class my task inside main activity so this dot get resources dot get configuration now this configuration class contains all the information such as your orientation and what is good your density dpi as you guys notice your locale navigation orientation now this is what we want so we're gonna say orientation now we want to check what is the current orientation is the app currently in portrait is it currently in landscape so i'm gonna first check for portrait by saying configuration orientation portrait now if it's not in portrait then obviously it's in landscape so I'll have an else condition over here so if the orientation is portrait then what I want to do is I want to say main activity dot this dot set requested orientation now I'm setting the orientation by hard coding it here so I'm gonna say configuration dot orientation portrait so if it is portrait orientation then keep it portrait kind of stuff that means it's gonna have a lock here and it, it's not gonna let the user move at all even if the activity rotates in the other case we can just go ahead copy paste landscape here and that takes care of this now you guys are probably wondering why I did this well this set requested orientation is enforcing an orientation on the activity in other words once you say it's portrait it will remain in portrait no matter what you do here when you set landscape it's gonna remain in the same no matter what you do now this is uh, the piece of code that we are writing inside on pre-execute because we don't want to do this unless the user is actually going to run a task so inside the on pre-execute we do this and inside the on post execute once we know that our task has been done what we are going to do is release the lock now how do we release the lock here very simple we again say main activity dot this dot set requested orientation now this time what we are going to say is activity info dot screen orientation sensor which is now this is going to activate our screen orientation sensor once again inside our on post execute in other words between on pre execute and between on post execute the activity is going to stay fixed in one orientation the user won't be able to change it like i said it's the dumbest idea that you have but then it's a very simple way of doing this if you guys really don't care about your async task rotation handling like for example you may just want to show a progress bar for two seconds then why should the user rotate the screen in those two seconds right you can rather lock the orientation and keep it the same way until your task is done so let's run this and figure out how things work so there's my app now at this point if you try rotating the screen 
well it rotates and as you guys can see it has changed over here inside my tool that displays the device screen as it is if I again rotate back it's gonna rotate but now let's start downloading it say image 7 which is the largest image we have let's click download over here the progress bar begins now if you try rotating the screen it does not rotate I'm actually trying it over here you guys can't see that behind the scenes again if I try rotating it does not rotate it stays fixed but once our download is complete that is our on post execute is gonna get called on the main thread where we can again rotate the screen and it starts rotating as you guys can notice here again if I rotate back it starts rotating so when do you use this approach it's actually a dumb approach and you can use it only for cases where you have a progress bar displayed for say two seconds or three seconds not more than that in that case it d doesn't really make sense to go ahead and make a complex async task that handles rotation and stuff because in the next video as you guys will see the async task which has rotation enabled and updates the progress bar simultaneously has a lot of code to be precise 300 lines of code just to make it work perfectly regardless of whether the activity is rotated or not hopefully you guys have understood how this simple fix works and you can use it for smaller apps in the next video i'm gonna dig into deeper and the bigger one which is the complex async task capable of rotating the progress bar and updating it even if the activity is spinning in 360 degrees the user is gonna be very happy about it in the meantime if you guys do like what you see please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.